Hi guys, the Ivy Phoenix here. Um, I wanted to put out a quick twin flame reading. I'm going to separate it into Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm not doing the regular setup. This is going to be very short and to the point. So let's get some Divine Masculine messages, please. What's going on? Happy December. Uploading the December videos now. <clears throat> Divine Masculine messages. Divine Masculine messages. With the Divine Masculine. We have feeling alone. Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. I feel as if this month, outside of the fact that it's the last month of the year, you know, um, and usually what the energy brings at this time, dreams coming true. I feel as if Divine Masculines, um, this group that I'm particularly channeling right now, and I mean, woke me up out of my sleep to do this. I, I feel as if there's a huge life change going on with them. <clears throat> Where, I mean, clearly they are doing some reflecting. I don't feel as if it's feeling alone, as in lonely. Um, but this is Five of Pentacles energy, right? Where there's definitely an element of them, you know, revisiting different things that have happened in their life. And that could include the Divine Feminine. That couldn't, in, it doesn't have to include the Divine Feminine. But there is this hopefulness with the Nine of Cups that's coming in. And I feel as if, yeah, look at that. A new vitality, the Ace of Wands. There's just this huge epitome that's hitting um, this group of divine masculines, and it's it's no wonder. You know, I feel as if 2018, all the lessons that have um, been coming up, the karma that's needed to be dealt with, it's just finally time for the divine masculine to face their fear. Um, what else? What other messages do you have? Yeah, I keep hearing that. Facing their fear. Facing their fear. Facing their fear. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at that. Open up. <laughs> the chariot move. Um, I don't know how to put that into words. I, I can't say that I feel like it's moving towards the divine feminine per se. I feel as if it's more about the divine masculine reaching this level of assuredness and being able to make certain moves within their own life, being able to open up more, being able to, you know, I kind of feel like elevate from this feeling alone card, even though that's a five and this is a four. You know, I would much rather see, and I think a lot of us would, if you are on this journey, would like to see that the Divine Masculine is making progress. And I think that that is what is showing up here. What other messages do you have? What messages do you have? Look at that. Mm. Um, refusing to see. Oh my gosh, I just got. There is this pain, this deep seated pain that the divine masculine is dealing with. And I want to say finally dealing with, finally dealing with, after for so long 
I feel as if, you know, like just playing cards so close to the chest because they didn't want to let anyone in. And when, you know, the divine feminine was getting too close, it was a lot easier to leave the situation. Whether this is spiritual, whether this is in, you know, the physical realm, I don't want to limit limit it in that way right now. Not with this card being here, but um, I truly do feel as if the Divine Masculines are going through this huge, I don't even want to call it awakening. I feel as if, you know, they've been awake. It's just been a lot easier to stay in these lower, in, in lower vibrational energies. And then look at that. Listen, High Priestess, seek the truth. Seven of Swords. It was a lot easier for them to sit back and not do anything. And why would they? You know, um, and you know, Divine Feminines, this is kind of where you all may be coming in too. Where it was, you know, yes, you're sending them love and all that type of stuff. But as you are going through your own healing, as you are sitting up there saying, you know, I'm going to unconditionally, unconditionally love this person. You know, you have to watch the vibrations that you're putting out. And I'm not saying because you were doing the work, you know, you were causing for the divine masculine to not do their portion. That's not it at all. But the divine masculine was picking up on the anxiety on the fear on all of the things that you were digging up as the divine feminine and it allowed for them you know to sit up there and play these games to you know be involved in um karmic relationships all that other type of stuff and of course it, it was meant to happen it had to be. It had to be. So I don't want you to get caught up in thinking like, look at that. I don't want you to get caught up in <clears throat> believing that anything that you had to do 100%, you know, resulted in the divine masculine being where they are right now. Um, and you can look at it one of two ways, right? You can look at the negative aspects like, well, you know, the divine masculine has been able to have their fun, has been able to, you know, have their cake and eat it too, and all those other different types of analogies. But at the end of the day, divine feminists, I want you to ensure, I, I want to be sure that you are constantly looking at the progress that you have made. Okay? Because the divine masculine still has to go through everything that you've already had to deal with and i wouldn't be surprised when i do the divine feminine reading yeah look look at this look at that still has to go through that stuff so i won't be surprised if we start to see you know the the positive aspect that's what i'm feeling for the divine feminines is that regardless of i i hope you see for one that there is progress being made on the divine masculine's end but divine feminines also recognize how powerful you are as a person Two major arcanas here. Intuitive, action oriented. And if this is the first time you're watching my videos, know that for the bottom of the deck, it's all about, you know, where divine wants you to be. Now, of course, divine doesn't want you to be held up in this space, divine masculines. But because of everything, every choice that you've made to stay in this spot, to stay in these spots, which resulted in this, keeping you from this, 
although you know you're you're starting to come to this realization that that's truly what you want you still have to face your judgment day look at that <laughs> look at that <laughs> look at that can't make this stuff up. So Divine Masculines, um, I'm sending you a ton of love and support as you go through this right now. It is early December. Um, and I feel that by the end of the month, you know, you're going to be facing this. We're going to come into Capricorn season. We're going to have the full moon in Cancer. We are um, going to be starting the winter or summer solstice. You know, there's going to be a lot of change. And it's time for you to face the music. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what this month is about for you all, Divine Masculines. So, quick little reading. Um, I felt, felt very compelled to pull some cards. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.